Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Today we are going to talk about the exciting world of hydraulic couplers. Now you really need to know a little bit about these jewels. If you're thinking about putting an imp implement on the front of your tractor that requires hydraulic flow. Let's say you're going to buy a tractor and some time on down the road you're going to put a grapple or a tree shear or a tree puller or something like that. You have to have a, a way of connecting and disconnecting hydraulic hoses and they will all have hydraulic couplers on them and they're quick couplers and you would think our world of agriculture we would have one set type of coupler to go on every implement so it'd be easy to add implements later on and we don't it's a complicated mess in my opinion so today I'm going to talk about hydraulic couplers the different kinds the different configurations and how to know what you have why you would need to know what you have let's say you bought a tractor and you told the dealer when you bought the tractor, I want hydraulic flow at the front of the tractor so I can do a tree shear someday. And the dealer either put on a third function kit, uh, uh, which, which is one way of doing that, or, or you could have a diverter valve. There's two different ways of getting hydraulic flow up there. They kind of do the same thing. But then, let's say a dealer installed it or, or a, a friend of yours that knows hydraulics installed a diverter and they put couplers on the front. A little time goes by and you decide to order a tree shear. And you have to have hydraulic flow for the shear to come together, or if it's a grapple, to power the cylinder to uh, bring the grapples down and squeeze your, your load so you can carry it somewhere. And so you order the piece of equipment, and the people that build the piece of equipment, let's say they supply hydraulic couplers with the piece of equipment. They're gonna ask you, what type of hydraulic couplers do you have? And you're gonna probably say, if you're not familiar with hydraulics, I don't know. And so that starts a process that can really end badly. If you wait, like we're having to wait now for stuff to get built, like a long time, and you finally get it in, and you go to hook it up, and you've got a coupler like this to plug into a coupler like this, they don't go together, and everybody's mad, and it costs money to fix. So today's video is going to talk about how do I find out what couplers I have, what are the different types of couplers, and, and uh, what are the different configurations? So first off today, let's, let's talk about the two different types of hydraulic couplers. This is called a pioneer coupler. That's the, uh, that's the male end, and this is the female end. And these are the old style. They've, they've come on tractors for, for decades. Basically, uh, the pioneers have this little, po they call it a poppet right here, that when that gets pushed back, it allows hydraulic oil to flow through the system. And this is the female part right here, and to hook these up, you pull back this collar, and you push the poppet in, and there's springs in there, and once that's locked in, uh, hydraulic oil will flow through there fine, and, and, uh, and uh, you can use your implement. And to get it loose, you just reverse the process, you pull back on the collar, and the poppet pops the, uh, the male part out. So that's called a pioneer fitting. The other type is uh, newer. Uh, allows more oil to flow through it and it's what you see on most industrial equipment today and that's called a flat face coupler and you notice it's called that because it, the top is flat and how they work is you just push you, there's a there's circles right there and you just kind of match it up and push and when it locks it just clicks in you don't have to pull the collar back so to me it's a little easier to hook up as long as it's not under pressure so that's called a flat face coupler. So that's easy. That's the, the two major types of uh, hydraulic couplers you'll see on most tractors. The problem is there's different sizes. This is a female flat face coupler, and this is a female flat face coupler. And obviously, the male part won't go in if it's not matched up. So if you have on your tractor these smaller flat face couplers, which these are 3 8 flat face couplers. They work the same way and they work good and they'll work the implement, but they won't plug into half inch couplers. So it's important to find out what you have. 
and there are literally hundreds if not thousands of different types of hydraulic couplers. Some are used in aerospace, some are used industrial, uh, uh, there's in the food world has got them, everybody's got these couplers and it's possible that, that what you have is not even these. So it's pretty tough to tell what you have. But let me give you a couple pieces of advice today. Let's say you're ordering a grapple and the people that make the grapple supply hydraulic couplers and they want to know what you have on your tractor. Well one way to find out, and this is not as easy as it should be, they all have a number on them. And this one has on the side of it and they'll have the brand name. This is a Summit, it came from a company called Summit, and it says, and, and they're real hard to read, FF12F-06N. One of the Fs means female, because this is the female coupler, and the rest of the numbers designate what size it is. This one right here was made by a company called Stucci, and they're out of uh, Italy, and they've got a number too. Uh, it's 112GSD18, uh, I think. In a perfect world, you could go to the website of Stucci or uh, Summit or Parker or whoever you bought these from and find out what size it is by that number but I, my experience has been that they don't match. You go in and you enter these numbers and they've got dashes in them and spaces and if you don't enter it just right you're going to come up with nothing. So the best thing you want you can do if you want to find out what they are is get the number and call the company and most of them have toll free numbers you can call and if you read them the number I'm sure they can tell you what this is. Now if I have a Stucci a uh, 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 flat face coupler, half inch flat face coupler female and a Parker uh, male flat face coupler, they'll plug together. They're all made to ISO standards, so mixing brands is okay, but you can't mix sizes. So the most reliable way of finding out what size you have is to call the company. If you can't do that, if you're sure you have either flat face couplers or Pioneer couplers, you can measure them. And I have this chart that's on my website that shows the different sizes. And they make three of each that are pretty common. And those are uh, quarter inch, three eighths, and a half inch. Most of them, both flat face and, and um, Pioneer that you find in agricultural applications are half inch, but not all. So it gets a little confusing. So the best way to find out is just go to this chart and like this Pioneer fitting, I'm going to measure across the top, and it's an inch and a half across from end to end. Inch and a half. So if I go to my chart here, inch and a half tells me it's half inch Pioneer coupler. Now I'm going to, just to make sure, I'm going to uh, measure the male side, and it's, a, it's an odd number, but it's looks like 13 sixteenths, and looking at the chart, there we are. I'm sure now this is a half inch Pioneer coupler. So if I have this on my tractor and I want to order an implement to go on it, I'm going to tell the people that supply the implement, if they supply the couplers, that I have half inch uh, Pioneer couplers on my tractor. And they're going to supply just the exact thing as long as I tell them one more thing. And that's the configuration. There are companies that will have two males on the tractor side. There's kits I've seen with two males. And I don't understand that. To me, the best way to have the setup is a male and a female. But there are companies that supply kits that have two males. So if you have two males, or I guess you could have two females, you want to tell the people you're ordering the attachment from, I need Pioneer uh, couplers, half inch, two females to fit my two males. So that is Hydraulic Coupler 101 today. And even if you know what I just told you, uh, if somebody was supplying the tractor side, uh, either the third function valve or the diverter valve, and wanted you to have to buy attachments from them, they might put a like a totally different connection on there. And uh, you, if you bought from them, it'd be no big deal. But if you buy from somebody else, if it was an oddball connection, and literally, again, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of these floating around out there, and they don't interchange. The brands interchange, but the sizes and types do not. If they put an oddball on there, you might have fits trying to put your uh, implement that was bought from somebody else on your tractor. So that can get into an ugly, ugly mess real quick. But if you've got an oddball, find that brand name and the number and call that company and say, what do I have? 
and then tell them I need, I need a male and a female and they'll ship it to you. Now in my next video I'm going to talk about if you don't have hydraulics on the front of your tractor and you're wanting to equip it with couplers, what the best system is. And I'm going to give you a little trick that I'm using right now that I really like uh, to make my hooking up better, to make the number of implements I can attach to my tractor better, and it's just to me it's the best of both worlds. And I'll tell you about that in the next video. Appreciate you watching my videos. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the Mike Face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and check out the Tractor Fun Store. It's where there are unique items for the tractor owner that helps support my channel. And here's a video about the extra valve kit, uh, installing one of them on a tractor to give you an economical way to get hydraulics to the front of your tractor. Thanks for watching.